Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Prosser and today let's talk about the text and legibility section in your rubric. So in your presentation rubric, you're going to need to keep in mind that your text needs to be, needs to be legible and also there shouldn't be too much text. So this is the standard for, um, or the breakdown for how to get an A. You want very little text, including one sentence maximum per slide or a few bullet points and the text should be easy to read. So let's look at the text as easy to read first in my example. So first off, let's say this is my text. Could it be read? Yeah, you know, people can read this, but is it easy to read? No, I, I think there's better colors you could use. Um, keep in mind, you don't want people to have to strain at all to see your text. So in this case, this, while people could read it, it's going to be much easier for people to read if it's black. Also, it's a little small. There's no reason it needs to be this small. You have lots of space in this slide, so make things bigger. I'm going to use size 36. That way it's plenty, um, it's plenty, uh, it's large enough to be seen clearly and easily. So that's the first thing I would do. Go through and make sure your text coloring and sizing is uh, makes your text easy to read. So I'm going to go through and do that for these different slides because honestly this yellow color, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but it does not make it easy to read. So I'm using 36 and black. Your size though is going to depend on your font. Some fonts look smaller at larger sizes. You might have to go even higher than 36. Now, the next thing on the rubric was text is easy to read and there's very little text, one sentence max per slide or very few bullet points. So let's take a look. This slide, it doesn't have a ton of text, but if we look, you'll see there's actually, here's a sentence and here's a sentence. We do not want this much text because it's really tempting to just read off your slide if you have a bunch of text like this. So the first thing I would do is cut it down. So it says geologists work to understand the history of our planet. The better they can understand Earth's history, the better, the better they can foresee how events and processes might of the past might influence the future. Well, here's the thing. I can say all this stuff. I don't have to have it all written down. So let's say I just want to include this first sentence instead. Geologists... Uh, work to understand the history of our planet. Sure. Maybe instead of including more text, I could put a picture here. I could also move this text box so it like cuts off halfway and have maybe a picture on the side. Um, but remember, pictures are going to be more interesting. And then you can also say more than what you have written on the slide. So this one is another example of too much text. Yes, there's no periods here, but technically all of these bullet points these are all complete sentences. If it's a complete sentence, it's still a sentence. So instead of having this much text, I should cut down each of these bullet points. So this one says you can spend lots of time outdoors. Let me just cut it down to time outdoors. You can go climb mountains. I'm going to put climb mountains. You get to take samples back to the lab and put, uh, I'll put collect samples. Uh, you get to work with a team of people. I'm going to put work with a team. Suddenly, this is much better in terms of the amount of text. Uh, I've got way less text, and really, this is about the same thing. I can still s explain this more, but these are the key points I wanted to bring up. Um, so these are a couple tips for you as you're working. The key, though, is... You want very little text, use lots of images, not much text, one sentence max per slide, and your text should be easy to read. So keep working on that. Good luck, guys.